If you're looking to serve something up for St. Patty's Day, Chef Ryan Nolan joins us from Mahoney's in Oshkosh with an Irish style dish. Hi, Ryan. Hi, good morning, uh, Pete and Rachel. Welcome to Mahoney's. Here we are in Oshkosh. Uh, it's kind of nice that you guys come to me instead of me having to drive all the way up to Green Bay at 5 in the morning. This was a lot easier. Well, since you guys came, I'm going to do something nice and special for you. You know, we have St. Patrick's Day coming up next Saturday, and corned beef and cabbage is such a staple. It's fantastic. People love it, and we do a lot here. Trust me, you're going to want to come down for that. But there's also some people, you know, good Catholics, they give up meat for Lent. You know, some of them do, not just Fridays. They do it the whole week. So we're going to do a nice salmon that you could have on St. Patrick's Day that's made with a really delicious Irish whiskey butter sauce. Now, it doesn't sound the healthiest, and it's, it's really not, but it's tasty. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so you can indulge a little bit. So what we're going to start out with is we've, we've got to make a, uh, our vegetables. We've got a nice hearty veg that's going to go underneath it, and it's going to come with uh, carrots, potatoes, uh, celery root, and cabbage. Now, if you don't know what celery root is, it's the actual root to the celery. This is in the ground. The celery is on top. So you take this, you peel it, and it's got a great texture, kind of like a potato, tastes great and it's not as stringy as celery so it's got a nice texture to it so we've got some of that all cut up here and we're going to put that right into a small sauce pot we're going to add about four cups or so of chicken stock now if you didn't want to use chicken and you wanted to use vegetables since you are giving up meat for lent go ahead and use vegetable stock there one bay leaf just for that extra flavor and then obviously a little bit of salt and pepper because we want to season that up nicely. <clears throat> and what we're going to do with this is we're going to just kind of bring it to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, just until our vegetables get perfectly tender, which we magically have right back here. So we'll just move that over there, move that over there. And we can see we've got these great, wonderful, tender veggies here. Now we have to get our salmon going. So in a second pan, we're going to get a pan nice and hot, a little bit of olive oil. We want to kind of get it to that point where it's almost smoking. We've got a great piece of salmon that we're going to season with a little bit of kosher salt and some cracked pepper. Not too much, don't want to make people sneeze. And that's going to go right into our pan. And we're going to put that nice presentation side down first. So we've got the side where the skin is. We want that to be on the bottom of the plate so people don't see it. So we want to get the best sear on our presentation side. So we'll still add a little bit of salt and pepper in the pan. We're going to do is uh, sear that till we get a nice golden brown because we want to get that delicious flavor built on there. And once we have it a nice golden brown, which would probably be a little bit longer than this, but I don't want to take up too much time so I can show you the rest of what we're doing. We would give it a flip, brown it a little bit more on that side. Then we would take it and place it in our oven. Well, we've got all this great flavor here. We don't want to give that up. So we're going to add a little bit of minced red onion, minced garlic, and do this away from the heat, otherwise you're going to start your house on fire. About a cup or so of good Irish whiskey. We're going to stir that around, then we're going to bring it to the heat, let it cook off and evaporate any of the other extra alcohol. Once that's evaporated, we're going to take about two ounces of our cooking liquid from our vegetables. There we go. Add that right to our pan. Stir that around a little bit. And now we're just going to finish this sauce with a little bit of butter. We're going to richen it up a little bit. So we've got some cold cube butter and a little whisk. And we're just going to work that in there. Get a nice emulsified sauce. So it shouldn't take too long. Now this sauce is one that once you get the butter in there, you're not going to want to let it boil. So as soon as it starts to boil, it could probably break pretty easily. So we've got it melted, and we're going to just kind of take it off the heat a little bit. Again, we would taste it if we needed to, a little bit of salt and pepper on there. But now we can go ahead and plate. So we're going to have our wonderful veggies from before. We just go in the bottom of a plate or a bowl like that. Want to get that bay leaf out of there so nobody hurts themselves. And then we have our salmon in the oven, which is a beautiful golden brown now. And I can't find my, oh, here it is. So we're going to go with that right on top. 
And then we've got our delicious Irish whiskey butter sauce. Just around there, a little shaky this morning. That's all right, too much coffee. And then, just to finish it off, to give it a little extra pop, why not a little bit of the fresh whiskey? A little bit more than I wanted, but it's always good. We'll put a little bit of uh, basil oil in there for some green Irish color. And there you go, if you wanted to, you could garnish that with some uh, fried leeks or maybe some fried potatoes. But a great Irish whiskey salmon for St. Patrick's Day.